Hey guys, welcome to a new breakdown today. Um, I'm breaking down how me and Pink Grills made Going Off. Now, a lot of you guys probably know this song by now. It was released on my last album, Money Moves. And I realize it's been quite a while since I broke down a song. But, oh, uh, sorry, I gotta hit you guys. But um, I've just been very busy. Um, with just life in general, but I'm here now and I'm going to break down my song going off. So first off, what I did was I started with this loop that Pink Grill sent me a while back. And then I cut it down for the verse. And then I went to Free Parametric <laughs> Parametric EQ2 and added a little fade in. You know, that's kind of become my signature thing that I do. Um, and then I added in our tags. Hey, Dylan ain't going up for real. Dylan ain't going up for real. And then I added in some effects. And then I added just a slight 808 to the intro. So that ended up sound oh yeah, and then I also added a little kick and 808 drum build up. So the intro all together sounds like this. So next I added this hi-hat. It's a pretty simple hi-hat. Um, and then I, ooh, and then I added this kick. It's a very simple kick pattern. It's just four notes. And then I added this clap, which everybody knows this clap pattern. It's literally the only one that's used in hip hop. And then I added this 808 pattern, which it's just playing one note. Also, I know my computer is super loud, sorry. Um, and then I added this little offbeat snare. And that sounds like this with the clap. Kind of adds a little bit of a groove. And then I've got this perk. Oh wait, no, it's a open hi-hat. Um, it's actually playing along with the 808 pattern. So all together, the drums sound like this. And then for the verse, I switched it up a little bit and cut off um, the clap and the snare for the first part. And then also for the verse, I added Pink's tag back in as a transition. And then I also filtered out the remaining loops with the parametric EQ so that it kind of folds in on itself. And then the 
it goes right back into the hook. And then for the outro, I just added our tags back. And then I started filtering out the uh, the loop again. So overall, it's a very simple beat. Didn't take me very long to produce. Um, yeah. And then also, I believe that uh, Brayden is releasing a freestyle or something along the lines of that to the beat as well for his SoundCloud. So this is all going to be the exact same beat. So I'm not going to do a breakdown for that one, but yeah, this is basically it. It did not take me very long to produce. It took me like maybe six or seven minutes to produce. And then I freestyled in the studio later after I got everything, you know, like mixed and mastered on the beat. Um, shout out to Pink Grills for sending me yet another loop. Um, I really, um, I just, I, I love every time he sends me a loop because they're always something different. And, um, yeah, um, that's really going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys learned anything, um, I'm happy for you. And if you guys want more breakdowns, let me know what songs of mine or other people that I have produced, what songs you guys want me to break down next. And I'll try to get to that. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Stay healthy, stay alive, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.